So the second question I'm going to address was from Tony McCafferty. He says, uh, many home computers use quad-core processors, and, and my machine here uh, indeed has that. It seems that to, to get all four cores involved to get parts of a program running in parallel requires special programming. However, generally speaking, these programs will also run on older single-core processors. How does a modern program operate in a multi-core processor, but also on a single-core processor as dictated by the particular computer architecture? And actually, in these Ask an Expert sessions, this is the third run of the course, some of the same kind of questions often come up, but this is this is a very new question, and it's a very, very good question. So the question is, um, I've previously talked about how you take um, a serial program, which is which is really written for, for a single core, and talked about making it run on multiple cores. And we've talked about how you can do that with, with either uh, message passing, uh, programming, or, or, or something like a laptop, you'd, you'd probably use something like um, shared memory programming. But this is the opposite question. If you've, if you've gone to the effort of writing a parallel program that makes good use of a multi-core multi processor, how does that still work on, a, on an older fashioned single core processor? Well, I think there's two answers to this. One is, remember that there's this differentiation between, between um, the hardware and the, uh, and the software, which is mediated by the operating system. So if I've written a parallel program for my multi-core processor and I said, look, at this point, I want four threads. Please give me four threads because I want to split the program up into four pieces because I've identified some parallelism which has a, a nice factor of four in it. What would happen on my multi-core processor is I would launch these threads and the operating system would then realize it had four threads to run but that there were four cores, so it would send, hopefully send each thread to a different core, and they would run four times faster than a single thread. However, there is that separation, so actually, as a programmer, all you're saying is, please give me four threads. If you were to run that on um, a single core machine, remember, a single core machine is all, already running lots of processes and threads. It's just time slicing them. It's not running at the same time. It, it, it's round robining them. So what would you happen there is you would say to the operating system, please give me four threads, and the operating system would give you four threads. But they, if they were running on a single core, they would just have to run round robin. One would run for maybe you know ten milliseconds, the next for ten milliseconds, the next for ten, the next for ten, and they would they would they would just get a fair share of each other. And so there, the same program will run. It will actually produce, say, four threads. But it just happens on your on your quad core multiprocessor, it will run four times faster. On your single core processor, it won't run any faster. Then you might say, well, actually, that's bad because I've created four threads and there's only one core. So maybe it runs slower. Maybe the overhead of switching between these threads is an overhead. So actually, in um, in things like um, um, programming systems like OpenMP, which we've mentioned this week. Um, what you actually do is you write a program which is which is really independent of the number of cores. You just say the syntax is you just say you know give me as many threads as you think is correct and split the calculation up amongst those threads. So were you to run the same piece of code on, on a quad core machine at runtime, it would realize oh I've got four four CPU cores available. I will I will spawn four threads. But the very same program run on a single core machine would get to the statement you know please split this calculation up amongst threads. And, um, and it would realize, well, there's only one core, so I'll just create one thread. And if you've written your program correctly, it's not always trivial, but if you've written it correctly, uh, it will run on any number of threads. If we think about the adding up the income calculation, you get the same answer whether you split it up into four pieces, 10 pieces, 100 pieces, or do it in one piece. And so calculations like that, you can see, can be split up over arbitrary numbers of, of threads and therefore at runtime, the operating system will, or the, your parallel programming system can decide how many threads uh, how many threads to spawn. So I hope that answers your question. It was very interesting. So I think there's, there's two aspects there. Um, a, that the operating system actually insulates you from the hardware, so you don't really care. You can, you can spawn 100 threads on a single core machine, but also modern programming systems will often adapt dynamically and, and do the correct thing uh, given, given the hardware that is available.